Hello, I'm acoustic guitar senior editor Taya Gurkin, and I'm here with a Collings CJ35 guitar. Austin, Texas-based Collings Guitars has long made a name for itself for its high-end instruments, many of which are contemporary interpretations of classic American flat tops. As such, the CJ35 is Collings' latest version of its slope shoulder dreadnoughts models. With a short 24 and 7 8 inch scale, Sitka spruce top and mahogany back and sides. There's a distinct vintage Gibson vibe to this guitar, but as is the case with all Collings instruments, it's more of a case of inspiration than creating a copy. The CJ35 has an African rosewood fingerboard and bridge, mahogany neck, nitrocellulose finish, and Waverly tuning machines. The guitar has a relatively wide neck that measures one and three quarter inches at the nut, and it has a string spacing at the saddle of about uh, 2 and 5 16th inches, so it's pretty roomy. On the inside, uh, this guitar is braced with non-scalloped Adirondack spruce top braces and has two tone bars. And uh, Colling says that all the woods are specifically chosen for particularly high stiffness to weight ratio. And it shows in the, in the low weight of the instrument. With a natural finish, the CJ35 model starts at $4,550, and with the optional sunburst finish that this guitar has, uh, the guitar would have a list price of $5,150. Let me play the guitar a bit more. You already heard me finger pick it a little bit in the intro to this video, so here it is strummed. Let's also hear acoustic guitar editor Scott Nygaard play the CJ35. <laughs> So that's the Collings CJ35. It's a great vintage style short scale slope shoulder that would sound excellent in many musical settings. You can read our review in the print or digital editions of Acoustic Guitar or online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gurkin.